kita nak tahu tentang Maika sebab very interesting. Saya pun kalau satu hari nanti nak drive Maika lah kan. Jadi apa objektif uh, EV Innovation dalam membangunkan Maika ni? Saya memang daripada kecil pun memang minat kereta sangat lah. What you call a, a petrohead. <laughs> like, I've been following cars and really like to drive cars. When the electric car came into scene and I was very excited about it. When Tesla came about making cars and became successful, I became very, very interested. What is their formula? So I was in London. Uh, I went to the showroom and I saw a car. They had one car completely, car, the, the ex yang ada galwing too. And the other car just a flatbed. And they showed the mechanics of the car. I said, huh? Is that all there is? Hey, this is doable. So, untuk Datuk with your expertise yeah. and the team, this, eh, boleh ni. Eh, ni, mesti or, boleh ni. Kat Malaysia pun boleh buat ni. Boleh buat ni. <laughs> the difference between an electric car and a, and a normal internal combustion engine is that an internal combustion engine may have 3,000 parts. An uh, electric car maybe have 300, 400 parts here. The number of parts has got very much less. That means it is doable lah, you know. And so, the, the, the objective is that if we can come up with a car that is simple, that is cheap and easy to run, it's cheap to run and cheap to buy, that will be a successful factor. Our aim is to produce an electric car that is cheaper than a normal car. To, hmm. to own and manage. Um, EV Innovation juga menandatangani lah memorandum perjanjian hmm. bersama dengan Mari dan hmm. Ingress Corporation. Hmm. Boleh terangkan sikit kerjasama yeah. ni Dato? As I said, our genealogy, kita punya apa latar belakang ke company kita ialah into software dan dan communication dan computer. Kita tak reti nak buat kereta ni. Kita pula design on the car, on the things we know. Macam sebab the controller kita boleh buat, the elektronik kita boleh buat, the software memang kita padai. Mari memang dia memang in charge of technology side. And Mari kalau boleh, dia boleh tolong kita nak homologation. Yeah? Nak macam mana macam nak make it roadworthy, get all the approval. Lepas itu also, kalau kita buat locally car, 100% locally car, patutnya ada insentif lah. Yeah? In terms of tax ke, ataupun in terms of road tax ke, ataupun... Uh, that kind of thing. Jadi kita expect Mari will be with us trying to promote the local electric car. Itulah dia. Mari. Hmm. Ingress pula. Ingress. I've been friends to the Ingress owner for a very long time. And I've been following the progress juga. Dia ni dah ada factory di Malaysia, di, di Thailand, di Indonesia, di India pun dia ada factory buat car parts. Okay. Uh, Pintu kereta apa semua dibuat. Those are very important. Jadi dia dah ada experience how to set up factory yang besar yang menggunakan robot, industry 4.0. Semua dia dah ada capability and he's also a very technical man. So I, I call him and say, would you like to collaborate? Bagi kata, kata, bagus, good idea. Uh, bercakap tentang electric car, sudah pasti ini adalah um, industri otomotif yang right now suka semua negara ya eh, cuba untuk membangunkan electric car sendiri mm-hmm. tapi pandangan datuk adakah Malaysia rakyat Malaysia bersedia menerima electric car kalau kita tengok dari segi faktor fasiliti dari segi faktor harga kereta dan sebagainya okey ya saya kata tadi memang aim kita dalam MIEV ni nak kereta tu serendah serendah boleh ya serendah boleh maknanya in apa dia sama level ataupun cheaper than existing car because you tak payah pergi petrol station lagi dah. You know, you pakai elektrik. Memang pakai elektrik tu ada ada harga. tapi the cost is about 30%. Kalau you pakai elektrik 30% compared to pakai elektrik. Tu. Jadi you save. When you service a car normally, you took out minyak. Eh, you check check fan belt, you check all these thing. Tak ada there's no, no such thing in electric car. Yeah. So uh, dari segi harga tak mampu milik nombor dua maintenance tu dari segi kos kurang sikit okay. um, dan dengan ada uh, design yang baik yeah, yeah. sebagainya saya rasa rakyat Malaysia akan menerima lah kita Allah. electric satu hari nanti kita harapkan. macam Maika kan. Yeah. Hmm. Tu pulang juga pada kerajaan kerajaan yang dikatakan uh, insentif apa insentif dia untuk own the car ya number one sekarang ni dia boleh bagi road tax yang kurang uh, number dua encourage people to put more charging station eh, itu mustahak hmm. it's chicken and egg jadi charging station ni tak payah encari banyak oleh kerana kalau you tengok kata Petronas every kalau every Petronas station ada 2 3 charging station dia partner pula dengan TNB 
TNB dia bisnes dia jual elektrik kan dia mesti find man new market for electric kan electric cars going to be a big consumer of electric yeah yeah so, so business tu, model will keep changing lah dengan kan? adanya electric jadi car. benda tu it will, it will move by itself dia chicken and egg kalau banyak electric car banyaklah yang benda tu akan jadi nak tunggu dia siap dulu kita dulu tak boleh we, we start first yes yes of course dan dengan ke, kepakaran yang uh, EV innovation ada dan sebagainya saya rasa ini adalah satu yang boleh uh, dalam realiti akan kita lihat ya my car on the road satu yeah. hari nanti uh, ramai yang ingin tahu juga uh, keyakinan EV innovations ni dan um, kepakaran yang membolehkan membangunkan Myka kurang daripada RM50,000. Jadi Datuk boleh share dengan kami kepakaran yang EV saya, innovation. Ya. Saya ada formula baru. Saya introduce hari itu dinamakan Dilative Manufacturing. Uh, dia ada another word con recently in industry from zero dia ada kata additive manufacturing additive manufacturing ni kita gunakan macam 3D printer nak buat something we have our own innovation in innovation ni we decided to go on light cars using hub motors jadi motor tu is in the wheel is it called in wheel motor i think you saw in the light just now kan correct yeah so that is very different from what tesla is doing tesla has a big lung motor dia dia ada mesti ada shaft juga when you remove that big motor you remove the shaft you remove a lot of weight also and cost yeah so when you put a wheel motor to become so easy to make a car so even Malaysians can do it i love your confidence datuk uh, yeah. tentang maika ni um, all the very best dan kita harapkan satu hari nanti maika dapat dipasar you kena belilah satu i beli satu ha okay. uh, datuk akan bagi diskaun yeah. <laughs> uh, jadi terima kasih datuk terima kasih, terima kasih. bersama dengan teruk attack uh, sudah pasti kereta elektrik yang dibangunkan oleh syarikat tempatan Malaysia mahupun inventor di Malaysia adalah sesuatu yang kita look forward lah daripada rakyat Malaysia dan juga penerimaan kereta elektrik ini sudah pasti akan lebih banyak dengan ada teknologi yang lebih baik dan mampu milik. Saya harap anda dapat informasi yang menarik lebih-lebih lagi tentang kereta elektrik dalam episod inilah. Sebenarnya memang ramai bakat Malaysia dalam dunia teknologi ini. Dan baiklah, sampai di sini saja. Jangan lupa ya terus bersama saya Sherry dalam episod ke-6 Teroka Tech nanti. Jumpa lagi.